Alrighty, so it's your boy the Darkest Hero QB, aka the Wolf. Ladies, gentlemen, germs, boys, girls. And today, you probably have guessed it because I posted it on Twitter earlier. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, you're missing out. I just got in from work, but you know, two days early. Sent your boy. So we're gonna be quick because I can't even do anything with this. It's pointless. I just got it early, I guess, to see how it feels. And um, we're gonna unbox this bad boy and see what's going on with it. So, uh, if you see anything crazy, it's because my room is a little messy. So, don't mind it, please. So, it's a dual sense controller. See, a lot of people calling it the dual shock, man. Eh -eh. Dual sense. It's the very first of its kind. The dual shock is now irrelevant. Well, only for a few more weeks. But, dude. I'm gonna open this bad boy up like so. Uh, cool sticker. Nice. Perched you guys up on the box that it came in. Uh, this is the box, front of the box. You know, bare bones. I'm showing you guys the. Basically, what the controller looks like before you open it. Um, and there's nothing really on the sides, it's just blank white blank with the PlayStation logo on top on both sides so nothing much to see there and of course we have the back of the box which just basically tells you some information and showcases the controller so what does it say heighten your senses discover a deeper highly immersive gaming experience that brings the action to life in the palm of your hands palms of your hands excuse me haptic feedback Feel more with physically responsive feedback to your in-game actions. That's the basically the adaptive stuff, you know. Adaptive triggers, experience varying, yeah, varying force and tension when interacting with your in-game gear and environment. Hmm, not bad. Built-in microphone, which a lot of people are probably not going to use. Um, chat online with friends through the controller, so you don't even require a headset. So that's probably why the controller... Or the system doesn't come with a headset like the PS4 did. Because now it's built into the controller. Which is pretty damn cool. That's a nice feature. Um, signature comfort. Enjoy an intuitive design featuring enhanced sticks and touchpad. So touchpad makes a return once again. Now let's get this bad boy. Tape on tape on tape on tape. Like bro. I understand Sony. I know you guys love your tape. But you know. I just got off work, man. I don't want to be doing all of this. You lucky I love you guys, and I thought about doing this for y'all. Because normally I don't do, well, y'all know I do unboxings, but it's been a while. You know, it's been a while since I've done a proper unboxing for you, so it's long overdue. So here we are. If I'm squinting a lot, it's because I don't have my glasses on. Uh, man, this thing is hard to pull out, man. So a box within a box, it's boxception. Okay, so I just got it in this regular box. I do have a little tab for you to pull it out easier. So I was sitting there struggling with it because I just did that. And here's the little tab you pull out and lift up to find the controller. I do like this a little bit because it's not wedged into a piece of plastic that's molded for the controller like the DualShock 4 came in. And it's pretty nice. But before I touch this, gotta give me some hand sanitizer. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. Safety first. The corona is still very much alive. And we want to make sure that all of our stuff is germ-free. So make sure you touch that or you get some hand sanitizer before you touch the controller. Um, and it does come with some paper, you know, the warranty information and all that other stuff. Um, basically, your essential information, safety guide, stuff of that nature is what it basically comes with. Then, who really reads this stuff? Let's be real. So, if you guys are literally expecting me to sit here and read all of this off, <laughs> you're out your damn mind. But here we are. The De La Resistance. Hey, and I'm going to pull it out for you guys. Like so. 
Ooh, it feels nice. This is the DualSense PlayStation 5 controller. Haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and tighter precision and control. The buttons are nice and quiet because there is a mic on this thing, so they have to be. So when you're tapping, like doing the cutscene or you know something like that, you will not be making a lot of noise if you're using this to play games or talk to your friends. Um, it is pretty big and the, the triggers feel nice, but you know you gotta play a couple of games of Call of Duty or any shooter to really put the triggers through their paces. And hopefully we're gonna see more features utilized. The thumbsticks are pretty damn nice. I can't lie. You press the button and it lights up. That's pretty cool, but I can't even do anything with this thing. So, it's nice, but I can't do shit with it. And no, the controller does not come with an extra USB-C port, which these controllers now take to charge. Um, because I'm guessing the system comes with one, which it does, because we've seen the unboxing. And they're expecting you to use that or purchase one or have your own. I have a few here, so I'm in luck. Um, and now we're going to compare it to... The Dual Shock, Dual Sense versus Dual Shock, and I mean it's a little bigger. I mean I would compare it to the Xbox One slash Series X controller slash X or S. I would compare it to that. It is slightly bigger in that department, and you know it's actually pretty comfortable. I would say it's a little bit more comfortable than the Dual Shock Four. Which DualShock 4 is not a bad controller. It's actually one of my favorite controllers of all time, believe it or not. Because of how cool it looks design-wise. You know, the touchpad, I, I like the aesthetics of it. It just looks like a really sexy controller. This looks sexy to me, but not as sexy as this, weirdly enough. But this has more technology in it, so I understand why it's a little bit more bulky and bigger. You know... It's just, it's just pretty badass. Can't lie. It's glad. It's good that they have the light bar, you know, it's minimalized compared to this one, because you know this one eats up a lot of battery and that's just not necessary. But there you guys have it. That is the Dual Sense unboxing. Hopefully you guys get your hands on this when the system either launches or you pre-ordered yours and got yours either today or Friday. But I hope you guys enjoy. This is your boy, The Darkest Hero QB. You can expect much more coming from me on this channel when it comes to this type of, this type of content. And I'm glad you guys were able to watch with me. And, and hopefully you guys get your PlayStations or your Xboxes and enjoy. Um, but I'll probably be getting a feel for this um, and seeing how it is. I, I can't do anything with it. I don't have a PS5, obviously, yet. But um, it's coming, so... Excitement and hype levels engaged. Peace out, and hope you enjoyed the video.